All right, so this is where I have my server rack. Um, unfortunately, you may notice that the light switch for this room <coughs> is taped off. That's because it never works. Uh, and it seems to be mostly exposed wires. And the problem with working on the server rack is that this room, <coughs> all being very noisy, is also very dark. And so, I <coughs> sent off for some LED tape to mount in the front and the back of the server rack, and then um, <coughs> it will automatically turn on using read switches uh, whenever I open and close the front doors. Alright, so this is the uh, LED tape I chose uh, for the server rack. Uh, it's 5 meters of these, I think, 5040 LEDs, uh, cool white. Uh, and it came with this 5 amp 12 volt AC adapter, which I mean, probably dubious quality, but <coughs> I don't have any other decent ones, so I'll use that for now. The tape is uh, <coughs> cheapy, cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, I think it was about 13 bucks for this whole thing. Uh, and it's it's not great. There were lots of little bits of uh, sort of copper strip uh, sort of just peeled off the edge. It looks like they maybe make this in parallel and then cut the strips you know, horizontal or, or whatever, vertically, horizontally, uh, just to make them into individual segment strips. <coughs> Uh, and the tape isn't really held on all that well. I'm not sure how well it's going to stick. Uh, might need a little bit of extra stuff, but uh, it is pretty good. <coughs> and it is very nice and bright, <coughs> as you can no doubt tell. Uh, so I'm going to cut a couple strips of this and then uh, mount them up in the rack. And then, uh, for now... <coughs> I'm going to uh, just mount them up uh, and then just have this so that I plug it in to turn them on whenever I need it on. But uh, once the read switches get here, uh, I will rig them up so that it automatically turns on whenever you open the door. Alright, and so I've got the uh, back part in and it is very nice. It is, <clears throat> it is fantastic compared to what it was like before. Uh, right now it's just directly powered in. I don't have anything mounted up yet. Um, <clears throat> but it is way better <laughs> than using a flashlight and it mounted up in this little gap right back here. Uh, there's a little, this is a door uh, to route cables up through and there's a little bit of space just wide enough for the LED tape there. Uh, <clears throat> And so I have it looped all the way around. Uh, one LED on each side is just sort of side firing, just due to the uh, width of the tape. Um, <clears throat> but it is working very nicely. I can very easily see what I'm doing. And the light spreads in and out quite a ways. So the front one should illuminate the uh, keyboard and monitor quite well. So I'm going to uh, cut a length of the front one, mount that up, and then I'm going to have to solder and run wires across through there. Um, <clears throat> So that's step two. Alright, and section two of the LED tape is another 21 inches. Uh, so I have a decent amount left over from the 5 meters, uh, <clears throat> which will be good for some other projects. Uh, probably going to mount this in the trunk or hood of my car, uh, just to provide some better illumination, or just, you know, <clears throat> stuff around here that I don't know yet. A little bit to play with, aside from the project. Alright, so I have the uh, second LED strip uh, wired up, a little bit of a... Uh, Hot glue for strain relief there, uh, just so that it, you know it's not pure solder connection. Uh, and at around 12 volts, it draws a little under 400 milliamps. So uh, grab some uh, decent gauge wire from a uh, DC power adapter. Actually, this was a car power adapter to like a DC jack. Uh, so it's decent gauge, <clears throat> probably more than adequate for 400 milliamps. And so uh, now it's time to toss this in. And this wire, or this uh, strip, 21 inches, uses about uh, 250 milliamps at 12 volts or so. Uh, so I might want to find something better than that. If I can find some thicker wire and that thin piddly stuff, I will. But if not, then I'll just have to make do. I might even <clears throat> just rig up a set with a bunch of heat shrink tubing, even though it'll be a little wasteful. Alright, so I just did a quick measure of the LED tape, uh, just the temperature on the LED itself, uh, and it's at 72 degrees Celsius. It's ridiculously hot. Um, <clears throat> supposedly, LED chips go, well, they have a temperature range of 
plus 60 degrees is from something I'm seeing quickly on here. Um, I, I don't know, that seems pretty high to me. But it is, you know, it's a lot of LEDs on really thin tape. Uh, so there's not much in the way of heat sinking. Um, they're all pretty much the same style, though. Um, so while it does seem a little bit, you know, excessive temperature-wise, uh, it it might just be run of the mill. It might just get that warm. The room is probably about 20-some degrees. <clears throat> so it's about 40 degrees above ambient temperature, which, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> if it burns down the server rack, uh, it'll be very impressive because it's metal and it won't burn. So, um, well, you know, low enough temperature it won't burn. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm installing the uh, front one now. I'm actually just waiting for the soldering iron to warm up and then uh, hook it all together. All right, so I've got the main install done. Uh, I don't have the uh, reed switches in place yet. That's going to take a while to get here. Um, I ordered some, which will be normally open. Um, so when you, or sorry, normally closed. So when you pull the magnet away, it'll turn on. I won't need any extra circuitry going on. Um, but yeah, so I have one mounted here. I mounted up the top one. And there is a wire going just through there. <clears throat> oh, and the uh, power supply is mounted up just on the side there with some double-sided uh, foam tape. <clears throat> it's a little loud, but I can't shut the servers off right now. And so, here we have it on this side. <clears throat> Doesn't light up down there very well. Um, but it is extremely bright there. It's actually a little hard on the eyes, um, just because it's unshielded pretty much. Uh, there's a little bit of space in the back here, but then it will be blocked by the shelf and the uh, switch. <clears throat> so I decided just to stick it on the end there, uh, so just don't stare at it <laughs> too long. And so basically this means that when it is uh, pitch black at night, uh, I have an illuminated keyboard um, just to deal with all of the <clears throat> stuff. So, yeah, I basically have a nice illuminated keyboard now, which is the main reason for doing this. Uh, <clears throat> just because it was annoying to have to set up an incandescent lamp uh, to be able to do any work on it. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, so, uh, there we have it. <clears throat> nice uh, illuminated uh, server rack. <clears throat> So it's nice and easy to work on stuff. You can basically just, you'll be able to pop open the doors uh, and the lights will automatically switch on and then you can just go about your business, close the doors, and the lights will switch off. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this first bit. Whenever the raid switches come in, I'll upload the second half. And this is just a little video to show uh, the tape mounted uh, so you can actually see it. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat>